In the digital world, like the real one, it helps to have extra storage space. An external hard drive stores data, expanding your computer's storage capacity. It can also act as a backup, just in case your computer's internal hard drive is damaged, which is very handy indeed. Fifty years ago, external hard drives were the size of refrigerators. Today, they squeeze a lot more storage into drives the size of chocolate bars. Hard drives are assembled in a clean room. An air filtering system sucks particles out of the air to keep them from contaminating the drive and compromising its function. Production starts with the motor base. An employee installs a voice coil magnet. It's one of two that will move the drive heads to write information on rotating discs. They're called voice coils because they operate on the same principle as loudspeakers. A robot places one of the drive's discs in the motor base. A camera snaps a photo to send information to guide the robot so it positions the disc exactly. Another robot places a round metal spacer at the center of the disc, again relying on the camera's eye for guidance. It sets a second disc on top of the spacer. This hard drive has two discs, but some have more, depending on the amount of storage needed. A robot locks the discs into place with a stainless steel clamp. The next part is a plastic ramp. The ramp is used to park the disk drive heads when they're not engaged in reading or writing data. These heads have been pre-assembled on one end of the head arm. They attach the other end of the arm to the lower voice coil in the base and then situate the second voice coil above it. To maintain its clean interior, a robot inserts a thin cotton filter. This filter will capture dust particles in the event that some get into the hard drive. A robot now places a metal cover on the other side of the drive. Another robot then screws the cover to the motor base. With the inner workings now fully encased, the hard drive can be moved out of the air filtered section of the factory. A worker collects the hard drive assemblies and slots them into a box. Once a circuit board has been added, they transfer the hard drives to a test chamber. Behind the closed door of the chamber, a robot swings into action. It pulls a hard drive from the box and plugs it into a test cell to confirm that it's functional. The robot methodically tests each hard drive in the boxes. Once a box of drives is checked, the chamber ejects them and a worker does a visual inspection of each one. They look for scratches or other damage. There are two systems for testing the drives. In this one, the employee places each drive on a conveyor that delivers it to a robot tester. Having two tester systems ensures that if one goes down, then production can switch to the other. At the packing station, there's one last visual inspection. The drive serial number is scanned, so its production can be traced in the event of a problem later. It's then sealed in anti-static plastic. This hard drive is now ready to accept data and ensure that yours isn't lost if your computer drive crashes.